happening on the South Korean market? Matt, uh, the Korean markets are actually uh, showing a tiny bit of a rebound. We are getting off the lows that we saw at the open about 30 minutes into the trading session. The Cosby is now down just two-thirds of a percent, and the Cosdaq is down three-quarters of a percent after opening down more than two percent just about 30 minutes ago. So we are seeing an improvement. And also, on the Cosby, remember we opened down with every single sector down, but now we have two sectors up, which are the telcos and also the autos. So we are seeing a major rally for the autos. Uh, this morning, Hyundai Motors is up 2.7 percent, and Kia Motors is also up as well. Hyundai Motors and Kia Motors did show a drop in their sales for the month of August, but markets are focusing on the fact that Hyundai Motors sales were actually up 3.3 percent last month year on year. So we are seeing this uh, taken positive, positively by the markets. Kia, though, did show a 10 percent drop in their sales during the same time. Uh, overall, though, we are seeing that in the U.S. markets, we just got the numbers for the U.S. market. Markets. Hyundai Motor sales for the U.S. markets in August came in 5% higher year on year. So this is also pushing the name higher. And also, one of the most bought names by foreign investors in the Korean markets today is LG U Plus, a telco name. So again, the, the only two sectors that are up are telcos and autos this morning. Hyundai Motors uh, has a bigger coverage overall globally, so so analysts are saying that a, a slowdown in the Chinese market will not uh, effectively mean that they will have a, a continued uh, drop in their sales because China is only part of their sales. But for Kia, a production most of their production are coming out of their Chinese plants. So for Kia, it may be a, a longer, a prolonged slump uh, for their sales, according to analyst reports this morning. Oriel, back to you. Okay, thank you so much for that.